We have done credit cards and bank accounts, but today we're going to create the ultimate budgeting app tier list with 15 of the best and worst budgeting platforms that are currently on the market so that you can ensure that you are using the best budgeting tool for you. All right, let's jump right into it. What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So if you've seen my other tier list videos, then you know the drill at this point, but we are going to move really quickly in today's video. So I'll just say this now to get it out of the way. I've reviewed a lot of the platforms that we're going to talk about in today's video. So I will be sure to link those down in the description below if you want some more in-depth information. But the purpose of today's video is to give you the surface level information on as many platforms as we can get through to give you a starting point for finding the best budgeting platform for you. We've got 15 budgeting apps and methods that we're going to look at today, so let's get started. First up is a heavy hitter for sure, and a platform that many believe to be the best budgeting tool right now, and that would be You Need a Budget, also known as YNAB. YNAB has a really unique approach to budgeting that is proactive instead of reactive, meaning that it actually has you live on last month's income instead of just having that money come in and then immediately disappear to your expenses and bills. And I will say that it's as someone who has a fairly inconsistent income myself, I am definitely a huge fan of this approach to budgeting. You're able to sync all of your bank accounts, import data from manual documents like an Excel spreadsheet, for example, and add manual transactions as well. Their customer service is pretty decent, and they have a ton of great educational resources that teach you how to use this platform since it can be a little bit overwhelming if you are brand new to YNAB. The bummer is that you do currently have to pay $11.99 per month or $84 per year, but as you'll learn throughout today's video, you really get what you pay for when it comes to these budgeting platforms, and considering that they are currently offering a 34-day free trial, I'll be putting YNAB in the A tier. Next is one of two platforms on today's list that is specifically designed for couples, and that would be Honeydew. Honeydew really empowers couples to collaborate on their finances rather than constantly butting heads and arguing, and it does that by allowing you to sync all of your financial transactions and upcoming bills under one platform platform together. The app is fairly simple in my opinion and is divided up into three major sections which consist of each partner's individual expenses and then in the center section you have all of those shared expenses. You're able to label each transaction as either an individual expense or a shared expense and they even give you a shared calendar that will remind each of you when those shared expenses and bills will be due each month. I know there are a lot of opinions out there regarding combining finances or keeping finances separate for couples and when exactly all of that should happen, but if you fall somewhere in between, then a platform like Honeydew might be a fantastic option for you, and the best part is that it's completely free. So I would be putting Honeydew in the B tier. Next is a platform that has been on the rise recently, and that would be PocketGuard. In all of my research, the consensus across the board seems to be that PocketGuard is the best solution for those of us that just can't seem to stick to a budget. It helps solve this issue by having you connect your checking and savings accounts, credit cards, and other financial accounts as well, and it's going to intelligently analyze your spending, where you can save, and can remind you when your credit card payments and other bills are due, and even has a really cool what they call in my pocket feature, where an algorithm is going to identify how much money you can afford to spend on certain spending categories based on your income, upcoming bills, and your different financial goals, as well as a ton of other financial metrics. And again, it's all going to be done by a computer on your smartphone automatically. And I am a huge fan of that. They offer a free and paid version at $80 per year. It comes in at a very competitive price. So as always, you can give it a shot, see what you think, and then decide to upgrade if you really like it. So let's put Pocket Guard in the A tier. The next platform is not actually a platform at all and is going to be an incredibly polarizing option for sure. But I felt like I should just put it in here and that would be don't budget. I will say from the start that personally, I am definitely against this, and I think that at the very least, everyone should have an idea of how much money is coming in and how much money is going out. However, I'm the first to admit that budgeting is not for everyone, and in some cases, it may only stress you out even more, cost you time and money that is unnecessary for your situation, and in general, just be a huge headache that you don't need to take on. Again, that is very rare, and in my opinion, you need to have some kind of budget no matter what. However, if you 
are currently just doing your thing and paying your bills on time and you have enough money to live a happy life, then why bother complicating things with some complex budgeting software? So just an opinion that I did want to throw out there. But again, in my personal opinion, I would not recommend this. So because of that, I would be putting the no budget option in the F tier. And don't worry, we are going to talk about some other budgeting methods that don't necessarily involve a budgeting app later on in the video, including the method that I personally use for my very own budget. The fifth platform on today's list is one that is really popular because it is backed by Ramsey Solutions, as in Dave Ramsey, and that would be Every Dollar. Again, this platform was created by Dave Ramsey, so if you're a huge fan of him and all that he teaches, then this is definitely a platform worth checking out. In general, my feeling with Every Dollar is that it is a very hands-on approach to budgeting, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but not really the right solution for me personally. But this can be a very effective strategy depending on what methods of budgeting and managing your finances work best for you. As the name implies, the whole pitch with this app is giving every dollar a purpose, whether that's putting it towards a bill, setting it aside for an emergency fund or savings, or maybe even investing it for the future. It's going to use what's called the zero-based budgeting method, which again is just going to really drill down to the core of your financial habits and determine exactly where your income goes down to the very last dollar. They do have a free and paid version that is fairly pricey coming in at $130 per year. However, they do have some bundle options with Ramsey Plus where you can actually go through the financial peace classes as part of your bundle. And they do also have some free trials available. So again, if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty of your finances, then I would definitely give every dollar a shot. So let's put it in the B tier. Next up is a personal finance software that has been around much longer than any of the platforms that we are looking at today, considering it was released in 1983, and that would be Quicken. Quicken is strictly a desktop-based platform with a new version coming out every year. So I'll tell you from the start that if you want to budget from your smartphone, then Quicken is not the option for you. However, still listen to these features because they will be important when we look at the next option on our list. In the past few years, Quicken has finally added a web-based platform across the Quicken portal, meaning you can now manage your finances and access all of that information from different computers, whereas previously it was a software that was actually downloaded onto your desktop. Now, the web version is lacking in a few features, but does give you the ability to view your balances and transactions, look at your different budgets in different accounts, track your different investment portfolios and spending trends in different categories, and really just do anything in terms of budgeting. That being said, this platform can be incredibly overwhelming and takes some users years to learn how to use it effectively and efficiently. And while it has absolutely pioneered the world of digital budgeting, I don't see this platform lasting much longer. And I think that based on some of Quicken's newer products, which again, we'll talk about in a second, they kind of see the writing on the wall. And because of that, I'll be putting Quicken in the C tier. All right, but the next product that is kind of Quicken's response to the different arguments that I just made would actually be their newer platform called Simplify, which I think is hilarious considering my biggest complaint about Quicken is that it is way too confusing. So Simplify is literally a simplified and mobile version of Quicken, offering personalized spending plans, real-time updates of how much you have left in certain spending categories throughout the month. Plus, of course, this app syncs with third-party bank accounts and shows you where you stand in terms of reaching your various financial goals. It's also going to track your monthly bills and expenses, subscriptions, including the ones that you don't use so that you can get rid of them, and really just gives you a lot of flexibility because it is a mobile-based platform. They also have some great cash flow features that give you a quick snapshot of your financial health, and with a 30-day free trial and a very affordable $36 annual fee, I do think this platform has a lot of potential going forward, but they do still have some work to do to get it where it needs to be. So I would be putting Simplify in the B tier. On the flip side of basic budgeting tools, we've got the next contender, which is Personal Capital. And this platform is really all about helping you build wealth as fast as possible. Their wealth management app is completely free, offers planning tools for retirement and education, a net worth tracker, and a portfolio analyzer that will look at all of your different investment portfolios and make recommendations based on the financial goals that you have set. For a long time, this was one of the best places to sync all of your different financial accounts, but nowadays that's kind of a common feature, but it absolutely is still a robust tool with an emphasis on your investments. Again, the primary app is completely free to download and use, and you do have the option to add their investment management services for a fee of 0.89% for accounts under $1 million, which is fairly high, but you do get a lot for that, so I did just want to mention that as well. All of that being said, from 
strictly a budgeting perspective, I feel like it's not necessarily their focus anymore, so because of that, I would be putting personal capital in the B tier. We are over halfway done with our ultimate budgeting platform list, and we still have some fantastic platforms and methods to come, including the platform that I personally use for my own budget, so definitely stick around to see that. Coming in at number 9 on our list is a platform that is incredibly unique and isn't strictly designed for budgeting, but does offer some fantastic tools that allow you to budget automatically, and that would be Digit. Again, technically Digit and their direct product is more like a checking account, however they do have automated software that is going to analyze your spending habits and will automatically set money aside using a micro-saving strategy to ensure that you never miss a payment or bill again. So if you have to pay, say, $12 a month for Netflix, well, Digit is going to automatically recognize that recurring bill, and then each day it's going to set aside a few cents just to make sure that when it comes time to pay that bill, that money is already set aside and it's not some big deal, and honestly, in a lot of cases, I didn't even notice that these micro-savings were being set aside. Again, not strictly a budgeting platform, but it absolutely has the tools to budget, save, and invest automatically for you, so because of that, I'll be putting Digit in the A tier. Number 10 on our list is again, not a platform, but just another option that I did want to throw out there, and that is using the budgeting tools that your banking platform already has. For example, the budgeting platform that we just looked at, Digit, can be used as your main banking platform, but it also has the tools that allow you to budget under that same app. Some platforms we'll look at later on in the video offer similar services, and if you're just looking to track your income and expenses, and really just understand how you can improve your finances, then you may not need some third-party fancy budgeting platform. So again, this is really dependent on everyone's individual financial situation. However, I am all about keeping your finances as simple as humanly possible, and I do think that this is the best option for a lot of people. So for the first time today, I'm actually going to put the option of just using your native banking platform for budgeting in the S tier. Coming in at number 11 is probably the most popular budgeting tool right now, and that would be Mint. Mint has over 25 million users, so needless to say, they are definitely doing something right, but this is a completely free budgeting platform that offers income, expense, and investment tracking, free credit score monitoring through TransUnion, and one of the most simple mobile budgeting softwares that I have ever seen. Again, it allows you to sync all of your financial accounts under one app or manually add transactions if you need to, plus they have a monthly bill tracker, including the ability to set payment reminders to avoid late fees. I am all about keeping things really simple with your personal finances, and the fact that Intuit, who is the company that backs Mint, is able to deliver all of these features for completely free means that I'll be putting Mint in the S tier. Good Budget is a platform that is built around the very popular envelope budgeting system, which many people have used and continue to use, where you put physical cash inside of an envelope for different budgeting categories, and then once that money is gone, there's really no way to go over budget. The problem with this system in today's world is that very few people carry around large amounts of cash, rendering the old school envelope method completely useless for a lot of people, myself included. So, Good Budget is going to use a digital envelope method, meaning that it's going to set money aside into these digital envelopes for different financial goals and expenses, including paying off debt or saving up for some large expense, and of course will give you envelopes for your monthly expenses, and in general just takes this incredibly popular and more traditional concept and brings it into the modern world. With the free version of Good Budget, you get 20 envelopes, and with the premium version, which is called Good Budget Plus, which is currently $7 per month or just $60 per year, you're going to get an unlimited number of envelopes and the ability to have five different devices logged into this account at once. I love this innovative approach to an old school method of budgeting, so I'll be putting Good Budget in the A tier. We have got three options left, including my personal budgeting tool, but coming in at number 13 is another tool designed specifically for couples, and that would be Zeta. Again, this is one of few platforms that is designed with joint finances in mind, allowing you to sync various accounts, including your spending, your net worth, your bills, and all of that good stuff under one platform, whether you are living together, you're engaged, married, or anything in between. The Zeta Money Manager app can sync your financial data, but also allows you to manually add transactions if you need to, and gives you a unified way to stay focused on your personal financial goals, while also keeping your spouse's finances in mind as well. They also have an FDIC-insured bank account offered through Lending Club that has no monthly fees and gives you a Zeta joint card to help cover those monthly expenses as a couple. Definitely a very cool product, but designed for a very niche audience, so because of that, 
chance, I'll be putting Zeta in the C tier. Second to last is again, not a platform, but rather a budgeting option. And that is just using a simple Excel or Google Sheets spreadsheet. There are so many free to download budgeting spreadsheets online for either Excel or even Google Sheets, which is completely free. And for a lot of people, this is by far the most simple and best option. This can be fully customizable to fit your budgeting needs. And while you're not going to have any flashy software or synchronizing features, you'd be surprised how complex and in-depth a lot of these spreadsheets are able to go. And again, they are oftentimes completely free and many are available for download or purchase online. So not the best option for everyone, but I'm going to put the Excel spreadsheets for a budgeting option in the A tier. And last but not least, coming in at number 15, which is the budgeting platform and method that I use for my own budget would be SoFi Relay. Big shock, I know, and I'm sure a lot of you were expecting this, but as I talked about earlier, in my opinion, you want to keep your finances as simple as possible. And if that means that your native bank account offers budgeting tools that allow you to budget in an effective way, then why complicate things by adding another additional account? SoFi Relay is the free budgeting extension to your free SoFi money accounts and offers free credit monitoring, income and expense tracking, the ability to set spending requirements and targets, create savings vaults with your SoFi money accounts, and again, just set those financial goals and understand how you are progressing towards reaching those goals. You're able to sync all of your third-party bank accounts, investments, credit cards, loans, and even add manual liabilities and assets to track your net worth. And all of this is done right under the exact same app as all of the other tools that SoFi offers for completely free. I won't talk your ear off about this one too much because I already talk about this platform enough, but no surprise, I'll be putting the free SoFi Relay platform in the S tier. So here we go. This is our list of 15 budgeting apps and methods that we covered in today's video. But as always, this is just my opinion. So I'd love to know down in the comments section, which platforms you think I got wrong and what platforms do you think I left off of this list entirely? As always, if you did get value out of this content and you want to help support me, the easiest way to do that is actually by checking out some of my favorite financial tools down in the description below, including one offer from the Point Cashback debit card that will currently give you $100 when you open your account and make your first purchase. So definitely check that out using the link down below. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. And of course, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.